after the first round being taken by Jungs Jr. and Crowley, Lloyd Daniels and Shota Matsumoto. These four men are the last of them all after this one. I, I hope you guys have enjoyed this so far. This is part two of this thing here for sure. And best believe, by the end of it, someone's going to get hurt. I just hope it's not too painful. Either way, John Lewis Jr. takes on Crowley. John Lewis Jr. has a little more, definitely has a lot more uh, health going into this thing than Crowley. Can Crowley keep it going, though? Can Crowley get that one of one of those kicks and end this thing? Who knows? We'll find out by the end of this one. Up next, here at the Lonely Warrior Tournament. Here we go, John Lewis Jr. Crowley. These two I don't think they ever met in the ring before, but here we go. I mean, maybe they met somewhere back in the, in the maybe in, in, in the, I don't know, in the English Isles. I don't know. Somewhere. Maybe before. Who knows? Either way, they haven't told us anything, and they don't need to tell us anything. We just need to see the action happening right now. Crowley. John Lewis Jr. You, you know, like I said, you know Crowley can't be 100%, but he's going to try and act like he is. Look at that. Rolls out of that one. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Oh, catch him with a knee. Let's go for that kind of upper, upper cut kind of. Oh, catch that leg. And John Lewis Jr. is not the kind of guy. He's going to take it out too easily. Oh, my gosh, that clothesline. You hear his head bounce off that rope. That was gross. And seeing it from that angle, it makes it even worse. And that's why he's going for it. Oh, again and again. But now Crowley, right where he wants to be. Oh, misses all of that. This is where he, this is where, oh. John Lee Jr. can show that he can defeat Crowley here. This is where he can show that this, is, this has been, a, this is him. This is all about him. Oh, oh my gosh. And walks Walks into the knee. You saw him gallop there and stop as he realized Crowley was already airborne with a roundhouse knee. Yes, you heard me. A roundhouse knee. That's what I even think is possible. I think he just went a jumping, like a spinning knee. I don't know. Whatever you want to call it. He got him with knee. And it's just maybe over for John Lewis Jr. if he keeps in moves like that. Alrighty, brain. Oh, bust. I thought there was one more brain buster. No, went for a suplex. Very, very open uh, suplex. Allowing him to hit the floor without on his own fruition without having to really do too much. Big time. Clothesline there after a hamlock clothesline. Double puts to the midsection. And you see Crowley not going for anything too insane. Just keeping it base. Keeping it how it's been this whole match. That's what it's supposed to be. Oh! John can't figure out what's gonna his next step's gonna be. You see, he's used to getting out of submissions. He's not used to getting out of pinfalls for the most part. So now this is an opportunity for him to make those these things happen. But he can also get out of the moves like this. Nicely done with that suplex. With that back taking damage. And like I said, if it didn't hurt for me before with his match with Justin Icon, it's definitely gonna hurt him now. Oh, John Lewis Jr. knows he knows what's gonna work. He knows what's gotta work. He knows how to break it down. Look at this. The arm, the arm, the arm, the arm. If you can't make him tap out, I don't think Crowley's the kind of guy who's gonna give. He's gonna have to knock them the hell out. And I mean that may be just as hard as well. Crowley's very, very, very hard to keep down, but so is John Lewis Jr. And that's why these guys step in this thing. That's why I was looking forward to these guys going at it. Look at this. Oh! Picks him right back up. Not even getting him. They gotta give him a chance to even arrest you at this point. Oh, the arm! Oh, he kicks him right in the arm. How smart was that? Right into the seated headlock. Nicely done. Nicely done. We're trying to gain some momentum here. Crowley gets right out of it. This is the, this is the back and forth. You can't. You can't get anywhere else. Oh, kick to the midsection. Went for a European uppercut of some sort. He catches them with that punch. Oh my gosh! You're the fucking. Standing Enziguri right across the head. Step up Enziguri, if anything. Just threw his whole body right at him. Oh! Kicks right in the rib. Crowley now. Has things going. He started to assume he, he, he does. Oh! Oh! Look at this! 
This back and forth is insane. Moonsault here off the second gets all of it. Nicely done. Perfect and precision. Not wasting any time thinking about what I'm going to do next. Just gets to it. Look at this submissional. Look at this submissional. Look at this. Look at this. Like I said, these guys are, are too damn good to be left in the, in the, in the dirt like this. This is what John Lincoln Jr. was all about since the beginning here. Just tapping people out. That's what he did his whole, while he was holding that. Oh, Pierre Test Wrestling Intercontinental Championship. Jesus. He was tapping dudes out. He was all about it. Now he's all about this. Oh, European uppercut crashing into Crowley's fucking head there. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh, God. Time for something big. Crowley says no. Neckbreaker gets all of that one. Look at this. This is what I'm talking about right here. You just can't make this shit up anywhere. DDT. And again, Jungle Shooter falls him with that one. Oh. Oh my gosh. Catch him in the knee. Gets a little momentum. Oh, and brings him down to size. Ew. Whoa, 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 watch out. Oh, case him right across the arm. He's been aiming for those arms since the start of this thing. He knows what can work and what can't work. Oh, kicks the leg out right there. Oh, my gosh. And just outsmarting Crowley here. He said, you may be the, be the Pure Test Wrestling World Champ, but I'm, gonna, I'm just going to kill you here tonight. The submission hold. We've seen him get locked in this before, just a different, just in a different way in his previous match here. And he had with just an icon and just throw, shoots him off the shoulder. Gets that leg right there. Look at this. Exploding suplex gets all of that one. Oh. Right back into that. Right back into it again. Right back into it again. Oh. Oh, stumps across him. Stumps across the arm. Look at him. Look at him aim for the arm there. Oh. Breaking him down to size. And Crowley just fighting back here. With everything else he has left in him. But so is John Lewis Jr. And that's what you gotta be scared of here for sure. Oh! Kitchen sink drops him right in the middle of the ring. Sorry. Over the bottom of the other ring here. Either way, nobody, no way. It's not where anywhere you want to be. Let's just say that. Oof. Looks like you're showing off like he won the match here. Oh my gosh. Everyone's taunting each other here, but when it all comes down to it, what's gonna be the thing that ends this match here? What's going to be that one thing they, they, these guys need to end it? Oh, cuts him off. Cutter! Pulls back into that dragon sleeper. He put, up, he put, him, he put Justin Icon away with it earlier. But he put him away late. John Lewis Jr. Is, is still going at this point. Look at this. And, and like I said, a guy who can get out of a submission hole is John Lewis Jr. for sure. Oh my gosh. Not even thinking about it. Kicks him right across the arm again. Sets up for something big. Oh! Oh gosh! Look at this! Look at this! Then Crowley again, back and forth, and I'm loving every second of this, man. Oof! Blocks him out of the way to that one, but for sure, kicks to the leg. Look at this! Look at this octopus stretch! Look at this pulling up different moves here! John Lewis Jr. is so damn adept at breaking everyone down. I don't care who you're, who the hell you are. I don't care who the hell you are. But you look at this using the strength to utilize it and get himself out of it. Uh oh, no! Oh. Look at this! Oh no no! Oh no no! Look at the arm! 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 Oh my gosh, he's torque at it! Yeah, look at that! That's so gross! That's so gross. That arm is taking so much damage. It's so quickly in this match. So quickly in this match, man. He made no choice but the tap. He made no choice but the tap at this point. Look at this. Take nothing away from Crowley, but this will be all be easy to be over in a matter of seconds here. Look at him wrenching. Wrenching at the arm. Bad place to be and finds himself out of that one. Oh, he got with that! 
cracks him across the head with that kick. Turns this match around. Single leg Boston. And look at him trying to aim for it. But he, so what can you really do from here? You can't really get the ropes now, can you? I believe rope breaks are a thing, but yet it is. And it is. Jungle Jr. using the rope break first person of the night. I, I believe they had to use it. Uh, just, just, to, just being, just, be, just to grab for it in general, uh, not being on it. And look at this, Crowley right back into it. Oh! Crowley comes right back, cuts him off that shot right there. Look at this! No! Kick to the spine. If he can lock in that armbar again, best believe this one's gonna be over. Shop to the chest there. Oh, drop to hold. Picks him right back. Oh, I don't know if he's. I thought he was picking him up instead. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at this leg lock here. Something totally different. Something totally different, but can still do a lot of damage to the body. And still do a lot of damage to the spine. And breaking Crowley down to the subatomic level. This is what I'm talking about. This is how dangerous this man is. Oh my gosh, those punches to the head. Oof. Look at this. Oh my gosh, and Crowley getting dropped again. Went now low when Crowley was going high. Four on shot right there. Another one there. Watch out, Crowley. Oh, kicked to the side of the head. Sandy has this in the bag. Don't argue with them in the crowd. Argue with argue with the whoa with your opponent. Oh my god. Crowley being brought down to the size here for sure. Chop to the chest, kick to the leg, kick to the leg again. Spin it back, kick opens them up. Oh! No! Oh. No! STO takes him down. To the top he goes. To the top he goes. Oh no. Maybe a meteora. Maybe a drop kick. Maybe a heel kick. I don't know what the hell he wants to do. No, he misses all of that one. Oh, grab that leg. Grab that leg right there. Oh, both guys collide. Oh, no. Watch it. Oh, the Pele to the arm. Pele to the arm right there. Look at this. He locks it in. Crowley made no choice with the tap. Crowley made no choice with the tap. He made no choice with the tap, man. Don't risk, don't risk, don't risk your whole career for this, man. It's not worth it. You just have to fight another day. Especially when you're world champion. There's no point in fighting for all this. There's no point. There's no point you're going to kill yourself trying to. You're going to kill yourself trying to. Holy shit. Give Crowley what, give credit what credit's due. Crowley's still in this thing. Most people have tapped out by now. Most people have tapped out by now. He's still fighting. He's still going. He's still going. He's still going. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. It's not worth it, Crowley, man. I promise you it's not worth it. It's not Mayor. That championship will always be around. I'm telling you this. These guys, love, these, this is what these guys love to do. Fighting style matches like this. Oh, submissions and everything of that sort. Missed that kick. Oh, missed that thrust up as, as well. Look at this octopus stretch of his own and using all of his weight. You look at the way he hasn't weighted over on, on the shoulders there. But he hasn't done any damage to Jungle's Jr. in this match. He's so, I'm telling you, if it's, if it's the night for someone, it's the night for Jones Jr., I'm telling you what, throw, throw thrust right there. Oh my gosh. Oh, cuts him off, cut her again into that sleeper, and it could easily be over right here. I told you, this round two was going to turn the hell up, especially when you knew these guys were going to be in it. You knew these guys were going to bring it as much as they could. And the back and forth is insane. The fact that these guys are even escaping each other's moves at this late in the match is insane. This late in the night is insane. Look at this. Oh my gosh, the arms again. Oh, and he aims for it again. Just breaking it, those arms down. Kick to the back right there. Stops it across the spine and brings him to a dragon sleeper. Look at that. Just lets him go. I... I don't know if he's feeling sorry for him or what? No! Oh, he wanted to go for the arm. He wanted to do a double ass handle to the arm. Watch this. Look at this. Exploding suplex. And if right now, right now, uh oh, uh oh. John, you gotta watch out, man. This kick will do you in. Permanently. Oh! Miss Lowe had that one. Oh, that kicks that leg out. Going after the legs now. Like I said, I don't know if Crowley would be 100% at the end of this one. 
He put himself through hell and back against Icon already. Kraken went not one but two kicks, and now look at this submission hold again. This is the moves that they go, they're, they're, this, is either, this is their go-to style of moves here. They don't do too much, they don't have to do too much. They just keep it going, oh gosh. Look at this, look at this. We have one move after another, one move after another, and they just stay in it. It's, it's almost flawless for these guys to, to do what they do. Are you kidding me here? No, I haven't seen a knockout for these guys yet, and it can easily be it. This can easily be it right here. This leg lock. You're losing a lot. Of, you're losing a lot, but no one's bloody. No one's battered, beaten up too much just yet. Look at this. Oh, oh, kick to the leg, chop to the chest, forearm shot, swatted away. Crowley comes back. Jungle Jr. comes back. Look at this. Belly to back suplex. Got all of that one. This is this all they have? This is all they have for me. Jungle Jr. and waited for opportunity moments like this. Oh my gosh! Threw everything into that. Threw everything into that. I, I promise you, Jungle Jr. has been waiting a damn long time for opportune moments like this. Oh gosh! Kicked another leg right there. Throw thrust. Oh my goodness. Oh gosh. Oh. Lucas gonna have to knock this guy out. He's not going down any easy. He's not going down easy. I promise you that. Oh. Just rocked up to him. Right, sorry, my mistake. Ran up to him. It just kicks him right in the gut. Are you kidding? No. Lucas knows he's about to do something a little more drastic than ever before. Oh, kick right there. Crowley lays it down. Heel kick. Grounds him. A little more airborne than what Jungle Jr. is used to. And right back at the submission hole again, these guys go. Look at this. Like I said, you asked for a match. You asked for one. And here you go. Submission holds and everything of that sort being locked in. And they just can't get one over on each other just yet. Oof! Oof! Are you kidding me? Exploder into the corner! Someone's gonna hurt here fucking permanently. And I hate to have it be one of these two guys here because they're so damn amazing in this ring. Shots right there. Crowley fights back with a shot of his own. Oh, kick to the midsection. And that will definitely thwart everything you had. You think you thought you had going. For the moment, kick to the face. Crowley's still fighting back. We're gonna go up to the leg here. Smart man. Oh! We still have the momentum here. Oh, the kick. Spoke way too damn soon. Spoke way too damn soon. Oh! Watch out. No, watch your arm. Watch your arm, Crowley. Watch your arm. Oh! Gets away with that. Amazing speed. Amazing athletic ability. Shot to the... Oh! Super kick to the side of the head. More of a thrust kick than anything. Crowley coming in hot. Oh! Oh! Look at this! Sherman super and drops on the back of his head. And John's a little worse for wear here at this, po at this point in time. Oh! That clothesline, every time I see it, 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 it just almost disgusts me. But they know they have to do it, and they also know they can't leave. And dumping them over the ropes, no point. So you have to get them back in the ring anyway. Probably up to no good, and you know he's up to no good. Going for that meteor again. Oh, and he gets all of it. Oh! Right back at that submission hold. And the more this match goes on, the more this becomes easier and easier to do. The thing is you have to keep doing it. Or just keep working the, your opponent's arms. But when, it, when these guys are constantly countering each other, how do you keep it up for so long? Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Oh no! Oh no! He has him in the arm! Look at the arm! No, the arm! The arm! The arm! Crowley! Yeah, just tap, man! It's not worth it! It's not worth it! I don't want to tell anyone to give up. I hate to tell anyone to give up. But you're holding the championship gold. I'd hate to have the same thing happen if that happened to McGalloway happen to you as well, man. I'd hate to have it happen, happen to you. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous and Crowley has no choice but to tap. John Lewis Jr. John Lewis Jr. wins. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. No one wanted to give up here. 
No one wanted to give up here. Not by the slightest did anyone want to give up here. Holy shit. I'm wrenching back on the arm there. He saw the crowd at a gasp there. Then when they said after every submission, everyone was on their feet. Every time someone locked in the submission hold, people were on their feet constantly. Look at this. Right in the middle of the ring. Watch it. Watch it. Watch him. Put, watch him for force. He has to forcefully tap. I don't think it was something Crowley wanted to do here tonight. But best believe. Best believe, man. He brought his A game here. But I think after the match he had with Justin Icon, he couldn't be 100% compared to what John Lewis Jr. is going through. But now John Lewis Jr. has to go through the same thing. Going into the final round. I don't know, he has a little bit of time to rest compared to his opponents here. But be ready for it. This is the Lonely Warrior Tournament of 2018. As we get down to it, the final matches here for round two of this thing. Semi-finals here. And whoever wins this takes on John Lewis Jr. At the end of it is Lloyd Daniels. It's Showtime Matsumoto. It's up next here at the Lonely Warrior Tournament. Get ready for it. Here we go. Round. Final round of this thing. Sorry, my mistake. Lloyd Daniels and Showtime. I'd love, I'd love to see these. I love to see these guys in action. Now they're against each other. This is this is something special here. Wish it was on a different kind of basis here. And I hope to see these guys again by the end of this thing. Only one of these guys can stand out when it's all said and done. Oof. Locking horns. So Lloyd Daniels with the advantage right now. Oof. Wrenching the arm right there. Smart man. Working it early. Not trying to not trying to wait and uh, buy his time. He's getting he's getting things done early. Showtime's just not as fast when it comes down to it. Of Lloyd Downs, but can definitely turn things around so quickly like this. Oh my gosh! Should have a little more, uh, a little less showy and a little more Matsumoto as of late. Oh, at least we've seen it in the previous match. He ended it so quickly, and the same thing goes for Lloyd Downs. They ended their matches so quickly. He didn't even get a chance to really see what the hell happened there. We saw Busaku knee, and after that, he went for those knees and ended it. Oof! Look at this. Quick, 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 quick. Succession after succession. Moves after moves, just being quick, getting done, quick. Look at this. Shoulder block takedown there from Lloyd Daniels. Gets right back in this thing. After after all the little, little spree that Shota Matsumoto had. Look at this. Suplex off the ground. Oh my gosh. Catching those feet on the top of that rope there. Give him a little whiplash effect. I don't think that matters right now. Oh my gosh. Back and forth. Oh my gosh, he saw his back bounce off the rope there. That thing's still just shaking a bit. Shaking, not stirring. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, high kick right there. Bang, bang. Bang, and he gets all that one again. Oh my gosh, he kicks around the spine. He's trying to say, give me some time to get up, but... Matsumoto doesn't give a damn oh about anyone else by himself right now. He knows this may be his biggest option to get back in this thing and crash man for wrestling as a whole. We haven't seen Showtime in such a long time. It's almost crazy to not see him on the show on a regular basis. The King of Strong Style needs to show that he's the King of Strong Style here tonight. Utilize that Strong Style here tonight and get this thing done. This is what Strong Style is all about. Things like this, you know, the, the MMA styling mixed up with that stiff those stiff shots but all these guys every man that was in this tournament whether they, whether they won or they lost they all have that style and they brought a little bit of here tonight oh both guys collide oh oh look at this look at this both guys going for something look at that look at that look at that look at the back and forth you, you can't make it up anywhere else you can't get this anywhere else you can't make this shit up I promise you that Oh, shots right there. Going after the neck seems to be the smart thing to do. Reverse DDT. Smartest thing to do in this match so in these matches so far is going after the back of the head. Aim for the side of the head. The points where you can't really protect. You can always put your hand up and protect the face. But you can't really protect the back of the head all the time. Especially if you don't know when you're getting hit from the back of the head most of the time. These guys have a have a more of a, a spidey instinct when it comes down to it. A feeling when things are happening. I don't know if that was a center on a leg drop. Either way, Showtime Monster Mode was hurt. That got him good. Anyway, these guys have a, a, almost like a, a, a killer instinct 
to get, get away at things oh when you at least expect them to but right now doesn't seem to be the time toss into the corner here oh knee right there oh my gosh and showtime not slowing by the slightest oh what's that kick and whipped it oh High kick right there, not once but two, oh, not th three times, four. Knees lifts him over. And the Showtime knows what he wants to do. Whether he, she's feel, whether he's feeling a little dirty as of late, oh, or he's always just the good guy he wants to be with a little more uh, extra. He always likes to hit with that one. Getting the vibrations, feeling it there. Oh! Look at this. Butterfly Subex here. No. He forgets all the way of that one. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. He's right there. He's right in front of you. Are you kidding me, that knee? And Showtime can end this thing quickly. Oof. Oof. Like a, oh, I'm back again and again. Combination blows, bang, right across the skull one more time. Going for something big again, that roundhouse kick, no, because of the way of it. German suplex up, coming again, oh, it gets all of that one. And Lloyd, he needs to get this thing back in his favor. If he can do this thing, this may be all him. Toss him into the corner here. Showtime, I don't even think Showtime knows where he's at right now. He's been throwing some blows here and there, but it always takes a few moves to take this whole match back in your favor. Get things going. Elbow right across the face. And Showtime says no. Oh, cuts him off after that one. Chopped to the chest deep. Oh, catches that boot. Smash, smashes that leg up. Oh. Oh. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Gets in the way of that. Smart, smart, smart. Look at this! Hatch soup, I think it's all of that one. Oh, that knee to the spine. Oh no, oh no. Here we go, the bell lock locked in right here. Modified cross face. The way, look at the way he has the arm locked up. It's so smart, but it's maybe too early in this match for him to go for something like that. Anyway, I don't think that's what matters right now to Showtime. Showtime knows he can walk into submissions as well. He says, hey, let's, 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 get, let's give it a try here. Oh, maybe, or maybe not. Just wants to keep going for something else. Oh, no, I spoke too damn soon. Look at this cross arm bar right here. Way too early. And he hasn't done any damage to any of the limbs of show to, uh, 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 Sorry, of Lloyd Downs. And he's, I think he was used to knocking some... He's not used to knocking people out that knee. That submissions have become less of a thing for him. It's not that he doesn't practice them. I'm sure he does. But it's just not his thing right now. It's, that, it, it's not what helped him win the first round. I don't think it's going to help him win this one by the size either. Oh, oh, both guys feeling something there. Look at that. Look at the distance between each other here. For sure. You know they want to go for something. Except for something there. He waited them and baited them in. Kicked to that back hamstring. Look at this. Oh, that neck. Bouncing off the mat here. Round two is just as intense as round one. And round one is when everyone's fully fine. And, and, and healed up and not battered and beaten. Needing fucking every kind of everything at this point. Oh no no showtime reverse DDT. Look at this. No 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 no. Oh I'm sure showtime's used to going for a pin after that, but realize that's not the case. Single leg Boston crap it seems, yes. But not sitting on the back. You see him not pushing the pressure in. Hoping that maybe Lloyd Daniels will give him a little more fight than before. Making this a little more serious than before. Showtime saying, hey, I, I got your number right now, it seems. All stops across the arm. Look at this. Dragon Sleeper right here. Nicely done. You've seen Dragon Sleepers all night. With the long, long limbs of Showtime. Hit those ropes before he even got a chance to even think about it. And that wasn't even forcefully. It's just his body was there. Oh. Good God. Right into that hammerlock. Like, I'm telling you, th this is insane. It's insane how these guys move sometimes. Showtime right back into it. Oh! Takes him right back over the shoulder again. Watch this. Oh! Mm. 
Willie Daniels up to no good. You know he's up to no good. You know he's up to no good when he's trying to toss him the top rope here. I don't know what the other guy's plan is. I'll tell you what's not gonna be good for anyone or anything in this in, in this match. Looks like they're going for a superplex here. No! Oh my gosh! That's it! Lloyd Daniels wins! Holy shit! Out of nowhere! The back of his head bouncing off that mat so hard. Referee says this one is over. I don't think we get the full replay here. Hopefully they don't cut it at the end of it. You guys on the back are horrible at replays. Watch this. Watch this. We're thinking maybe Monsamoro could do some kind of fight here, fight here. He'll have enough time. Watch this. Bang! His whole body bouncing off the off the mat there. Referee says this one is over no matter how you look at it. And Lloyd Daniels may just be your new Lonely Warrior Champion. Don't let the name of the championship fool you. It has so much meaning behind it and no one's even held it yet. As we reach the end of the night here, John Lewis Jr. takes on Lloyd Daniels. Lloyd Daniels proved in the last match that sometimes you got to pull it out from under to get a victory. And he did with a big time Falcon Arrow from the top. More of a, yeah, more of a, yeah, Falcon Arrow from the top for the most part. And then you saw John Lewis Jr. forcefully tap on the Pintense Wrestling World Champion Crowley. He had no choice but to tap. At the point, there's a, everyone has their breaking point, and Crowley had his. No shame or no from... from Either of the, any of these guys are in this tournament, whether you're Yujita, Justin Icon, Fisher Jackson, Riley Greenwood, it doesn't matter. Yeah, everyone had their opportunity, and they showcased themselves, and I hope for a, even a better showing next year with more people, but we're not done just yet. The final is here. For the Lonely Warrior Championship, one of these two men will become said champion, either it's John Lewis Jr. or Lloyd Daniels. We'll find out up next here at the Lonely Warrior Tournament. Here we go. Oh, Daniels and John Lewis Jr. are going to kill this thing. I, I, you feel it, but you also know that after all the damage that's been done, this match can end in a matter of seconds. And it, all can, it can be a knockout. It might not even be a submission at this point. These guys are, have so much determination in them to not tap out here and so much skill to not even give in and just get out of everything that they've been, they throw each other through that it may take a little more... Or something like a kick or a punch in the head or something like that to tap one of these guys out. I, I don't know what's going to take. But one thing's for sure. As both these men walk down to the ramp here. As both these men walk down the ramp here. Look at that beautiful camera angle right there. Beautiful camera angle right there. But as these, anyway, as these guys both walk down to the ring, their mind becomes blank. The fans become just nothing but white noise at the end of it. Because... At the end of it, they also know this: that one of them will only, only one of them will walk out as the Lonely Warrior Champion, the first ever Lonely Warrior Champion, and that's got to be something great. Mizo Toshi, like I said, has helped a lot of these guys that have this style mix it up in that ring and make it their own. And now, when you think about it, now when you think about it in this way, both these guys respect a guy like Mizo Toshi. You have a guy like you have guys like Riley Greenwood that idolized Mizu Otoshi. You have two guys like this that respect them, and the fact that Mizu Otoshi got all these guys, whether he likes them or he doesn't like them, and re and put them all, all eight men, in this tournament for the first ever Lonely Warrior tournament, it shows it shows so much that he wants all these guys to beat the fuck out of each other at the end of the day. Referee puts the belt up, showing the crowd what this is for. This belt can mean everything. Let's see how it goes down. Let's see how it goes down. Is there? Oh! Oh, went for a form quickly. Oh! I haven't any of that. Look at that. Look at that. Right into the hammerlock. Right into the hammerlock. I'm going to have any lockups here. I don't think we need them at this point. Lloyd Daniels so damn adept in stepping in this ring and, oh, proving to the world that he is one of the best of the best. And I said it earlier on in the first, oh, round with that he was in, 
How do you recover from getting a loss for a champ after a championship, a championship loss like that? He had so much going behind him. The crowd was behind him. Everyone was behind him. And not that they were booing Kazokado by the slightest. It's just that they all felt like he had something going. Oh, catch that leg. Kicked right into the leg. Chopped to the chest there. Oh. I think they just felt like, hey, he had it going. He had everything going in his favor. Oh. Small, little but simple and easy drop kick right there. Flooring him for the moment. Lloyd Daniels. Oh, trying to light up John Lucas Jr. here. What a show, what a shot. Kick right there to the leg. Sorry, to the midsection, if anything. Oh. Like I said, you see the previous match that Lloyd Daniels was just in mere moments ago. Oh. What this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, face buster. I think Lloyd Daniels is at the point now where he's just as advanced in the ring, just as advanced in the ring as, as, John, as or, sorry, John Lewis Jr. is just as advanced in the ring as Lloyd Daniels at this point. And that's, if you think about that, you think about how advanced Lloyd Daniels really is and how John Lewis Jr. is already surpassing that. John Lewis Jr. has been in the ring in less time. Uh oh. Oh, in less time. Whoa! Then Lloyd Daniels. He's already grown almost superior to him here. When it comes to that wrestling, look what you look what you're getting here. Look what you're getting here. Look at the arms as well. You saw the arms being smashed up from the start of this match. And now Lloyd needs to figure out how to get back in this thing after all this. Oh, that will get you back in the match. That's for damn sure. Off the ropes he goes, off the ropes he goes. Oh, throws that knee into the face. That will definitely do you in for sure. Oh! Did you hear that? And he's still able to kick, kick back and fight. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Overhead suplex, nicely done. You see the same thing with Lloyd Daniels. These guys are so similar that it's imp it's impressive that they're not brothers or something of that sort. Oh my goodness. Like, if, you know, how are you guys not related? Two different sides of the world. Two different sides of the world, but still execute the same, in almost the same way. It's the only difference you see Lloyd Daniels go for more shoot kicks than anything. Not, Lloyd, not that John Lewis Jr. can't. Oh, calf kick. And again, showcasing that he can bring it. And right now, let's see what he can bring. Chop to the chest. Chop to the chest again. Oh, gosh, a bigger chop to the chest. That won't definitely put you away for sure. You see him aiming for the chest there. And that's exactly what Lloyd Daniels is going to target. Oh, spinning back kick. Spinning back kick again. Chop to the chest there. Oh my gosh. And oh my gosh. That was, gr that was gross. That was gross. Boy, Daniels. Drop kick takes him down. I'm aiming for the chest there. Stomps across the back of the head. And watch this. Look at the back of the dragon sleeper again. Back of the dragon sleeper again. The rope break saves and those long lanky legs of, of John Lewis Jr. Kept him in this thing for the moment. Kick to the mid section there. Kick to the mid section there again. Chop to the chest again. Forearm shot. Swatted away this time. Catches all of that. Shots right across the head. John Lewis Jr. Has him right where he wants him. Look at this. Face buster one more time. And I take nothing away from Lloyd Daniels. If he loses this thing, he's been through hell and back. Just as much as John Lewis Jr. has. And these guys are just back and forth. Just the back and forth is insane. That's what you gotta love about this. A match like this. Uh, and I know I'm, I'm repeating a lot of the same things I'm saying. But this is, all you gotta, this is all you gotta know about a match like this. There's only four rules to this thing when it's all said and done. And the only two that really matter when the submissions and knockouts are, the, uh, are a thing here. Oh, swatted that kick away. Oh. Oh, keep the mid section. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Backdrop, nicely done. Look at this uppercut coming up, boom, right across the face. Throw the lights, throw the lights, suplexing against all that one. Look at this, right back into another submission hole. They, they, they don't stop, they don't stop until this match is over. They will not stop until this match is over. Oof. Gets on the mat, gets on the way that, look at this. Arm drag, so quick. So precision, it's insane. It's insane how precision he can be and how quickly he can adapt to what Lloyd Daniels was throwing at him here. But Lloyd not gonna not gonna stun either for anyone else or oh, or anything. Oh, look at this! 
JDT gets all of it, but this match is not over yet. The referee says he's still in it. He's still in it, and Lloyd shows that he's still in it as well. Oh gosh, watch this, watch this. Right into it, the Danielson special. There's something different about this guy, Lloyd Daniels, man. He's a little more intense than before. Both these guys, former champions in their own right. Look at him fighting out of it. Oh my gosh, and punch him right across the face. Oh! Both guys thinking something here. Just kick him and keep him away. Kick him and keep him away. Oh! We saw he threw the arms up to try and catch the leg or catch anything. And he caught a kick right to the chest. Kick to the spin, spinning back kick right there. Chop to the chest right there. Chop to the chest again. No. Swat of the way. Oh, look at that. Look at the armbar. Look at the armbar locked in. Look at the armbar locked in. He's been working that arm earlier on in the match. And now it could be the beginning and the end right here. Holding on as much as he possibly can. But if someone get out of this move, it's definitely Lloyd Daniels here. Watch this. Bang right across the face. Another one. Chop to the chest. You're a peanut uppercut. Spring back kick again. Watch out, ref. Pillar the post coming in hot. Lloyd Daniels. Oh, gets covered out of Brooklyn. Did you hear that? Right into the Dragon Sleeper. That's what I'm talking about. These guys know what they're doing, man. These guys know what they're doing damn well. Oof. Look at this. Look at this. Submission hole right there. Look at this. LaBelle lock right there. Cross face, whatever you want to call it. Nick is the beginning of the end. Trying to hold on as much as he possibly can. But not much that he's left left in him. Look at how he rolls out of that. He rolls out of it. And Lloyd Daniels not having any of it. Spinning back kick gets all of that one. Look at this. Gets all the way to that. Watch out. Coming in hot. Elbow gets it right across the face. Jungus Jr. In trouble here, dancing special again, locks it all in. And this could be it right here. Trying to end this thing quickly, ever so quickly. And Lloyd again rolls out of that and Puzzy just decks him right in the face. Look at this, right? Look at this hole. Look at this. Look at the arm. Look at the arm. That's what I'm talking about. And he just has the arm wrenched up here. How smart, how quick is this guy? How quick is this guy? I, I tell you, these guys are, are so adept. Look at that. Throws him over the shoulder. But that arm, that arm taking a little bit of work there. Kick to the leg, catches that said leg. Bell clap to the ears, tosses them over. This is what I'm talking about. Two technically savvy motherfuckers just stepping in the ring, doing what they do best, and that's just being the best that they can possibly be. Look, there we go. Look at this front chance for a guillotine choke, whatever you want to call it. Could be right here. Look at this. And you'll see Daniels just trying to hold on as much as he can, trying to pull all this weight down on the neck of Jones Jr. And Jones Jr., he said, I'm not done just yet. Look at this. It separates the legs, flips over. Flips over? Are you kidding me? Kicked to the leg right there. Catches the arm. Look at Daniels. Look at Daniels. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. He's going to try and pull out a out of, oh, out of commission there, that arm. European uppercut right there. Knows how to lock in. A, uh, knows how to lock one in. Damn great. Look at this. Look at this. Fujiwara. Fujiwara armbar. Doing, doing moves that we haven't seen them do in, in maybe years for some of these for these guys. These are amazing. Flips out of the way of that. Watch this. Look how, uh, how how special. How special are these guys, man? These guys are these guys are one of a kind. Talent. I'm telling you. Right back into it. Look at this headlock, seated headlock right here, grounded headlock, ground side headlock, whatever you want to call it, could be enough. Or it may not, it may not even take out of for a submission hole, but it just may put you away. Look at this, right back into it. Oof. Yo, European up gets all of that one. Look at this, look at this. Well, watch this, watch this, watch this. Oh, got all that chancery. Last chancery right there. Sorry, my mistake. Cattle mutilation, my mistake. Sorry, so many submission moves here tonight. Cattle mutilation right here. Could be enough. Could possibly be enough. And you see, John's still fighting to stay in it. How crazy you have to be to stay, still stay in a, in a, in a match like this? This is one of you guys have to leave. One of you guys have to quit. 
And there's no quit either of these two. Oh! Listen to those kicks, man. Oh, my God. And look at him. He has the arm wrapped around the bloody face of... of, of the boy Daniels here. And not resting for a moment. Oh, what the hell he had planned. Oh, both guys to collide. Spin and back kick. Went for a spin back kick and went and didn't have any stamina to really, to really push off and get anything going. Oh! Bell clapped to the ears again. Tosses him over the shoulder. No! Look at this! Oh gosh, works to the arm! Look at this! Half and half! Oh my god! Look at the arm! Look at the arm! Throw oh, the arm! The arm out of commission! There's no way! There's no possible way! This match can still be going on after all this! Oh my gosh, Rick in the face! Oh, jeez! Stop across the back. Oh, fights out of the out of the thighs of Lloyd. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm John this Jr. here. The back and forth is insane. The arms, oh, they're taking so much damage. Look at this. Look at this, right back into it again. 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 The arms so damn beat up. There's no way Lloyd Dance can still keep fighting after all this. John Lewis Jr. has this in the bag. He has it in the bag. Ladies and gentlemen, he has it in the bag. There's no way. But he still does. Oh my gosh, that shot laid him the hell out. Look at these guys. When I say look at these guys, look what they're doing in this ring, man. The army worked again. Look at this. No. Before, it looks like he was going for a dragon. Suplex. Oh, back elbow. Oh, leg bar. Whoa. I've never seen Lloyd Daniels do that before. I've never, I've never in my whole time watching this guy all over the damn world, never seen him do that before. He's just pulling out moves now to survive. And he knows it. He knows it. He knows it damn well. He knows it. Damn well he knows it. Oh, my gosh, that kick. And he knows if you can't help him tap, he's going to knock him the hell out. And this could be the last opportunity here. Lloyd Daniels going for it all. Oh, and he gets all of that one. This match is not over just yet. The referee says it's not over just yet. The referee says it's not over just yet. He's still up. But both guys batted and beaten and bloodied up here. For sure. No. Lloyd Daniels says no. Then Breaker and he gets all of that one. Look at this. Cross face again being locked in. And you see him fighting for it. You see him fighting trying to stay in it. In this match, in the rope break, he catches the ropes. He uses the second time he used the ropes here tonight. And how smart is it for him to utilize the ropes? Utilize what works. Utilize what works, ladies and gentlemen. Utilize it. Look at this. This fight is insane. This fight is damn insane. Oh, it kicks him off. Lloyd. Oh, misses all of that one. And Jones Jr. comes right back with a move of his own. My goodness, man. Someone has to tap here. Oh, that arm drag again. We're trying to pull himself up. Oh, he steps across the leg. We've seen these guys go through hell and back tonight alone. Alone, these guys went through hell and back alone. It's insane what these guys are doing just for an opportunity. To showcase to the world that they're the best of the best. Oh my gosh. Oh, kick to the midsection. Boy, coming in hot. Oh, drop kick gets all of that that time. And trying to get the crowd behind him. And the crowd is. The crowd simply is behind him somehow, some way. Oh, knee to the face. They're behind both these men. They know that it went with the, what they went through. Oh, spinning back kick right there. Picks him up on the shoulders. Look at this. Something a little different here tonight in this one. 
Oh, and dumps him down. I don't think he knows where he's at right now. Either way, gonna go for something. Is this a Romero stretch right here? Look at this Romero stretch. Watch this. Watch him pulling back. And if he if he doesn't tap to this, I don't know what will it will take. I don't know what it will take. Watch him. Has takes him by one arm and then holds it. Look at this. Romero into a dragon sleeper. Put him away with this. Do I don't know what you guys have to do. I don't know what you guys have to do, but get it done. Get it damn done. And he's not going down. He ain't going down without a fight as John Jungle Jr. by the slightest. And Lloyd Daniels knows this. He knows as much as he's pulling and, and, and pulling on that neck. It's not enough. It's not enough. Oh my gosh, just punch him right across the face. Open him up for more. Oh. Forearm shot. If that doesn't put you away, I don't know what will. And gets him sets him right back for another Romero stretch here. What a match, man. Here we go. Look at him. Stretching him back. And watch this. Watch this. It's a perfect example right here of how we, how we locks it in. And again, it's so perfectly and expertly applied. But you don't think about this, uh, a match like this, you don't want to lock in someone in a Smith room like this for too long. Especially a guy like John Lewis Jr. who found a way to get out of it the first time around. Oh my gosh, and grounds him with that shot. European uppercut. Punch right there. John fights back with a shot of his own. Oh, shot's right there. He gets it again. Can be right here. Bang! Right across the skull. Stomps across the, the the arm there. Right back in that submission hole. Look at this. Oh, the rope break saves him. Rope break be the only thing that saves him. Like I said, it wasn't his plan to. No, no, no! Watch out! Watch out! Bang! Right across the chest. And he said the referee said he's not out just yet. He said he's not out just yet. But that will do him out right there for sure. That will outright do him out. That will outright do him out right there. That parallel snapmare kick, I thought it would do him as well. And as well. And I was waiting for him to hit that. I was saying if he hit that right there, could have been all it. Sets up. Bell clap to the ears. Look at the arm. No, the arm, the arm, the arm, the arm. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. If you're Lloyd Daniels, you have nowhere to damn go after all this. This is panic mode here. And Lloyd, Lloyd's still fighting. Are you kidding me? These guys. These fucking guys, man. Look at this. Locks in. There's a special Kabir right here. Back and forth these two men go. But can't tap each other out. It's going to come down to a knockout for both these guys. They have to kill each other to damn near win this match. The first ever. The first ever. Winner of this thing gets a be the belt of the, the first time ever. Lonely Warrior Championship on the line. They know it. They know it damn well. Look at him crumble. Look at him crumble. Look at him crumble. Look at him crumble. Oh my gosh. He crumbled after that. No, 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 no. Oof. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh, DDT. Look at this back and forth. He's, how are these guys still going? How are they not battered, broken, and beaten at this point? And then again, maybe they are and just trying to fight through it. Oh, that arm again. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Whether Daniels wins this thing or he doesn't, he's not going to be alive. He's going to be alive to tell the story. Jones Jr. is going to break him down and say, hey, if you, even if you do win this thing somehow, some way, after I beat the hell out of you, you're not able to defend the damn thing. Oh my gosh, fire Miss Carry right there. Nicely done, nicely done. And sets up. Oh my gosh. A little unorthodox there from Lloyd Downs, and he knows it. And he knows it. Trying to get the crowd behind him. For one more go. For one more go right here. Feel it all. This could be all right here. This could be all right here. Go for it all. Bang right across the face. And the crowd, the referee saying it's not obvious yet. He's maybe cheering a little too early. But I didn't hear a, I didn't hear a bell ring. I didn't hear a dingling ling at all. Let's keep going. Keep going, Lloyd. Lloyd, no. Don't we'll waste time. You see, you have a guy right in front of you who's too damn smart. Oh, those kicks right there will do you in. Shots right there. John Lewis Jr. fights back. Neck breaker already gets all of that one. Look at this, the fight is real. 
Oh my god, the arm again! Oof! He's playing around with him here. Because he knows he can. But at the same time, how much do you have in you to keep going? Oof! At the caliber these guys are going at, it's insane. It's insane. And I'll tell you what, if he hits one of those kicks, it could be all over right here. Billy Daniels, by the way, that calf kick right there. He gets out of the way of that and comes back with a cat kick so fast, so smooth. But I don't care how you look at it. Lloyd Daniels, oh! Look at this, half Nelson again! No! Oh, and drops him on the side of his head, on the top of his head. Comes right across. Look at this! Right back into it. If you can lock in that arm bar one more time in this thing, if Lloyd Daniels gets locked in the arm bar again, it has to be a guarantee. That arm cannot be 100. That arm cannot be 100% of that after all this. And again catches him. No, no, no. Russian leg sweeping and gets all of that one. And again, locking that submission hold, but the rope break saving him. It's almost like deja vu for these guys. Oh, went for something. Got nothing of it. No. 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 European up again. Drop kick takes him down. Let me go for that Ramiro stretch again. Over something a little different. Oh my god. Kick to the mid section. Kick to the mid section again. European uppercut fights back after everything. Oh my gosh, comes back with a, a, a shot of his own. Look at this, he's counterbalancing the weight right there to throw him right back down. It's called distribution, ladies and gentlemen. He distributed his weight perfectly to get that and counterbalance everything that Lloyd Daniels was going for. Lloyd Daniels had something going. Oh, catches that foot. Oh, dragon screw. And Lloyd wants to finish up. One more time, that kick could be it. This has to be it right here. Bang right across. And no, referee saying this one's not over just yet. And he's still up. European up right there. Oh, kick to the mid-section. No, 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 the arm, the arm again. This is it, this is it, this is it. Bang, right across the chest. And the referee says this one is over. The referee says this one is over. Holy shit. If Lloyd Downs even had to, was able to even win this thing was all said and done, John Lucas Jr. Would have had him so beat, I don't think he'd be able to defend the damn thing. I, I'm, I'm not making any excuses for anyone. I know these guys would have defend till they till their last fucking breath. But that little kick, you gotta. I told you watch out for that kick because it's not something that he was going for this whole match. He was going after that body parts and everything of that sort. And when he got caught, he got caught. He snapped bare him. There was nowhere from the. There was nowhere from the balance out of it. There was nowhere from the block it. He just took that full force and caught right across the fucking face. My goodness, these guys. These guys, man, look at this match. Look at this match. Bang. The, the, the back and forth was insane. The back and forth was insane. You just couldn't make this shit up if you wanted to. And we even knew. Oh my gosh. We have a new champion here. A new champion in the making here for Crash Man Pro Wrestling. The Lonely Warrior Champion all together. First ever. First ever Lonely Warrior Champion. Being... John Lucas Jr. Holy shit, I, is, this night has been something, man. Hope you guys enjoyed. I try to make it as most enjoyable as possible for my more my uh, more technical wrestling fans. I like to see a little more submission. I wish there was more submissions here, but this is how the cookie crumbles when it's all said and done. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's this so much more to do. I have, what, six more pay-per-views to do before next Thursday. I'll probably have the game by then. If not, I'll probably have, if, if, I mean, most people begin the game around Thursday, uh, next Thursday. If not, begin the next the Tuesday after that. I want to be done probably before the next Tuesday after, um, after that. So I can just kind of get into the next groove of what's going on here. Um, other than that, um, 2K19 is right around the corner. But that doesn't mean we can just stop. Doesn't mean we can just say, oh, fuck it. I'm going to just give up on everything and wait for the next game to come out to keep on going. I keep it going constantly until the end. Until we reach the final pay-per-view of this season, I ain't stopping. And I hope you guys didn't keep enjoying what I put out here. These eight men stepped through hell to get where they got to. You saw... 
matches end so fast. You saw matches end in different ways. You saw guys that you thought were going to win it, lose it. You thought guys that were going to win it at the all when it's all said and done, find a way to get it going, but just couldn't get it going. And when it's all said and done, sometimes it's just how the clique crumbles. It's not always what you expect. I didn't expect him to actually get that. I thought, I thought I reversed it pretty damn well, but... Moves like that are so hard to reverse, especially when you know KOs are effect in effect. Knockouts could end in any different way. I mean, how many times did I go for the the, the knee and it still didn't put him away? So it, maybe it's just a part of the code of the of the move. Um, I I don't know. I I can't judge. All I can do is say, hey, we had a fun time doing it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said before, come and subscribe. We have a new Lonely Warrior champion. That championship will be defended. Alongside other Crash Band Pro Wrestling pay-per-views this year and next year is gonna be a thing. It may not. I may have different rules to the match. I may take the knockouts off and just have submissions. Maybe just have submission-style wrestlers go into it. And just change the move sets for that one match. I don't know what I want to do with it pre pre just of yet. It may just last for this season. It may go into next season and then end mid-season. Who knows? It might just come may rear one of those championship belts that comes around every once in a while. I don't know what I want to do with it fully just yet. But I know I wanted a new belt, and here you have a new belt right here, the Lonely Warrior Champion. With that being said and done, like I said before, comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next pay per view, which will be the Cell Games. Crash Event Pro Wrestling presents the Cell Games. That's going to be amazing. You're going to see John Lewis Jr. defend that championship against someone. I don't know who it's going to be. Maybe Lloyd Daniels again in a different setting, a different scenario. Maybe it's in a cage match. I don't know. But I'll tell you this it's going to be amazing. The Cell Games always seems to uh, be a little more fun than usual. Anyway, um, peace out <laughs> and good shit.